Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Z here. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys my Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. So this is a two-in-one laptop slash tablet. I had Windows 10 on it, and it gave me the option of updating to Windows 11, but I didn't. So anyway, the option was either staying on Windows 10 or upgrading to Windows 11. So the reason why I didn't upgrade to Windows 11 was because I was worried that this computer would go very slow with Windows 11 and the only option was really staying with Windows 10 or upgrading to or sorry or upgrading to Windows 11 Windows 11 was out of the question so I decided that I'm just going to do a dual boot so what I basically did was I installed Linux Ubuntu on this and the main reason why I installed Linux Ubuntu is because Windows 10 is going to be discontinued eventually. And I figured I might as well just get on the bandwagon with a Linux and just learn Linux um, at my own pace. I'll have some time to learn about it and just see if it's going to be right for me. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler. So far, it's been pretty good, especially with Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the version that I use. Just one moment. I'm just going to log in one second. So this is Ubuntu. I've customized the system tray icons all the way at the bottom. Usually when you get it on the default, it's on the side, on the left side. So I moved everything to the bottom, given it like a Mac-like look uh, slash Windows. Um, so far, it's been pretty good. And uh, the main reason, I guess, again, why I moved over was because I didn't want to upgrade to Windows 11 and Windows 10 is going to be discontinued. In addition to that, Wi-Fi 6 gigahertz is not uh, supported by Windows 10. I looked everywhere online and it just, even if you have the wireless card, which I do in here, I upgraded from the, uh, I believe it's a Broadcom that comes with this laptop. I upgraded it to an Intel um, capable 6 gigahertz capable card so I decided that I'm just going to use Linux um, I had a dual boot system but things got messed up and I ended up deleting my partition for Windows 10 which I may just install again we'll see so far I haven't used Windows 10 in quite a bit um, I've been very happy with Windows uh, sorry with Linux Ubuntu uh, this is the latest version of Ubuntu uh, it's been pretty good uh, the only thing that I could really say is a fingerprint reader. So this thing right here doesn't work when you try to log in. And uh, you can't really use Office on this. So the alternative is either using LibreOffice, uh, OpenOffice, or uh, Google Docs, which is good enough for me. I'm not a heavy um, Excel sheet user or anything of that sort. But if I am, um, what I would probably do, what I'd probably end up doing is Maybe doing a dual boot on this and installing Windows 10, but I don't see that happening anytime in the future. There we go. So these are my current specs. Uh, as you can see, I have the IdeaPad Flex 5, 14 ARE05, Ubuntu 24.04 as of shooting this video. This is the latest version of Ubuntu. I've got the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U with the Radeon graphics in there. And this capacity is about, I believe if I'm not mistaken, I have about 500 gigabyte hard drive in here, uh, NVMe, uh, or it might be less, I don't, I don't remember exactly. But it's been pretty good. I got the 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi network on here, which is amazing because my office uh, uses that, it has a um, 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi band in there. And not many people use uh, 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so it's great if you're in an area that has a lot of interference. So, for example, if you're in an office building that a bunch of uh, uh, companies are using the 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi band or the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band, if you want to use a 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi band, you're going to need to have an updated wireless card that has the capabilities for six, six gigahertz and this laptop currently has that because I upgraded that physical card in here and I put Linux Ubuntu on this which su fully supports uh, Wi-Fi six gigahertz. Uh, that's if that's a little bit too complicated for you, you'll learn about it later on uh, when it becomes more common. So yeah, basically I'm very happy with Ubuntu. Everything works uh, great. 
I, I started using a Firefox web browser just because it uses a lot less RAM than Microsoft Edge, which I could install Edge on this, and I had it previously, but I deleted it because it was using up more RAM, and I do happen to use a lot of tabs in my everyday work. Um, as you can see here, uh, touchscreen is supported. That is if you have a touchscreen capable laptop, so touchscreen is supported. Um, and uh, fingerprint reader, again, did not does not work. It's not supported uh, until somebody comes up with some sort of software for it. It's I don't see it uh, becoming usable anytime soon, which is fine. I, I'm i totally okay with it. I'm fine with typing in a password every time I log in. That's okay. Um, battery life, I get so much more juice out of this. And this thing runs so much cooler. The fan spin is not... I barely base I basically barely hear the fan now that I have Inbutu on this. So it seems like it just uses so much less resources um, and I just get more juice out of it. So it's fantastic and everything just works right off the bat. You know, if I want to open up the webcam right here, um, I could just type in webcam, go to the camera and as you can see, webcam will work right off the bat. Ooh, no camera found. Okay. Let's see, maybe I just need to open it. Nope. So it looks like the 24, the version of uh, 24 Ubuntu does not recognize it yet. Uh, but that is the latest version of Ubuntu. In the previous version, I believe I was using the 20, I was on 22 or 23. The webcam was working perfectly fine. It just so happens that, uh, you know, it's not working with the latest Ubuntu. But I'm sure there's some software out, out there that I can just install and it'll work. So that's fine. If not, I'll just... I'll rewind, I'll go back to the older version of Ubuntu on this until this webcam is supported. But to be honest, I don't really use webcam a lot. Even in my Zoom meetings or Google Meets, uh, I don't use the webcam. I usually end up turning it off. So that's fine with me. You might have to consider that, but for me, that works fine. But anyway, that's uh, Linux Ubuntu. Uh, you can look at other distros as well. This just so happens to be the distro that works good for me. Uh, I've tried some other ones like Linux Mint, and uh, MX Linux, I tried Manjaro, I tried some of the other ones, and this one just feels right for me right now. Um, so I'm good with this, and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, give you an introduction to Linux Ubuntu. I know that wasn't so much of an introduction, more of me just yapping, but uh, yeah, let me know if you want more videos, if you guys want to see more videos on this. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. So I just want to give you guys a side note is that I still use Windows 10 for my gaming PC at home because as you all know, Linux is not very good for gaming. They just don't have everything updated for compatibility within Steam, you know, because Steam is the main platform most PC users use to game. Uh, you won't really have a good experience if you're trying to game on a Linux computer. Now for that, I use my Windows 10 PC computer at home, which I may end up upgrading to Windows 11 if they force me to, because I'll have no choice. But yeah, I mainly use Linux for work. This is uh, my work laptop and uh, at home, actually this video that, I, that I'm editing, this video that you guys are watching right now, I edited it on my Windows 10 PC using Filmora Wondershare, which I'm not sure if they are yet compatible with Linux, but when they are, I'll start using that. But yeah, just uh, wanted to give you guys that side note.